double, well actually quad movie reviews, but over two videos. So first two I'm doing is Dennis Leary stand-up. We got Lock and Load from 97 and Douchebags and Donuts from 2011. So massive difference in time. So I finished it this morning, Lock and Load, and it was funny as hell. I actually watched this years ago and forgot all about it. Solid 8 out of 10. It's funny. It's his style. It's fucking... Oh, God. I love it. The, the whole bit on parenting. That was so fucking hilarious. I loved it. Um, And the coffee. Jesus Christ. The motherfucking coffee. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, and he was so angry in 97. And then you look at him in 2011, he's like, he's so calm and shit. So, do douchebags and donuts. Dennis Leary and friends. It was funny. Way more jabs at the Catholic Church, church sex scandals. <laughs> Especially the opening song for that. God. Uh, it's so funny. I still find that shit funny as hell. Because... Literally, it's like, why you want to be involved in the religious community if most of it's just molesting little boys? Oh, so funny. I love the Lord God. Did God tell you specifically to rape little boys? Mm, maybe. <laughs> God. Whitney Cummings was all right. Eh. Lenny Clark was good. Yeah, his punchlines were cool. They were more mellow punchlines. Like, mellow as in... I don't know, sound effects, I guess? That are iconic and whatnot? That kind of deal. They were, like, real subtle. Uh, Adam Ferreira felt kind of weak, but still funny. Like, he had to follow... He literally had to leech off of Dennis and Lenny's two bits to get himself some humor. Yeah. Not cool, dude. That's not how you work. <laughs> if you're a comic, you're supposed to have your own material, which he did, but, you know, sponging off the two of them to make himself better. No, that's dumb. Uh, almost felt like they had to follow Dennis's lead in a way because he's iconic in his own standing. Yeah, they felt like they were struggling, kind of, at the same time. Whitney was killing it, though. Like, she was killing it. Fuck. Most of what he said is true, but it's all so funny, dumb, in the same breath. Seven, four out of ten. It's good, but... Yeah, I don't know. Like, he bring he tackles political correctness over saying retard and fag. And I'm with him on that shit. Like, they're just fucking words. And being autistic, like, I'm not offended by that word at all. It's a fucking word. If, if you got offended by every goddamn word invented, you wouldn't be able to speak shit. We'd be talking in numbers. And then people would get offended by numbers. And we go on and on and on. And fag has like 15 definitions. Pick one that you're really offended by. God. <laughs> it's so dumb. Um, but out of the three of them, well, yeah, Dennis, Lenny, um, Lenny, four. Four of them, my bad. I can't count. <clears throat> the four of them... Yeah, Dennis really knocked it out of the park. Like, he was good, and then it was Whitney, and then Lenny was good, and then Adam. Adam was shit. <laughs> kind of sad, though, but what can you do? Um, yeah, this was it. I just, I don't know why the hell I wanted to watch Dennis Leary. Like, I saw his video for Asshole. That's funny. It's all right. It's cool. And then that turned me on to a stand-up because I hadn't watched him since Rescue Me. <laughs> that long ago. Jesus. Oof. <laughs> and he had another show, too. The fuck was his other show? He had another show. I cannot remember what the fuck I'm talking about. It wasn't Titus. I'm thinking of Christopher Titus, but nah. Not him. 
Oh, what's your thing? TV, what'd you do? Troll 90s. Oh, he's on Crank Anchors. No shit. <laughs> he did something that I watched. Not the job. Maybe it was the job. Yeah, I think I remember that. Maybe. Uh, it's been a while. It was something else. I don't fucking know. But anyway, Dennis Leary stand up. Is he funny? Yeah. Is he offensive? Oh yeah, definitely offensive. Is he somebody you should check out? Definitely. I always check somebody out that's offensive and funny. Because usually behind that offensive funniness is truth. Because that's how comedians roll. They tell you something offensive, but there's truth hidden in the joke. Uh, oh my. And then he poked. <laughs> he poked fun at all the fucking mug shots too. That was gorgeous. I love that. That was a lot of fun. Um... But between the two of them, which was better? Lock and load or douchebags and donuts? Um, I feel like lock and load had more emotion to it. Whereas douchebags and donuts was like, hey, fuck you. Look what I'm doing again. Yeah. So I'll go with lock and load. Because that was more emotionally based. Whereas... This, yeah, douchebag in the nose is mostly just poking fun at shit. So, yeah. You don't like Dennis, that's cool. I don't really care. You can like who the fuck you want. Um, yeah, I'll be back with two more. Stay tuned. The reason I'm breaking up over two, the titles won't fit in one fucking deal. So, bummer.